I feel so grateful to go to a school, to be in a city where something like this is possible. Young students coming out, walking out of the classroom, marching for their future to take ownership back from fossil fuel lobbies, from government that have been beholden to their own interests for too long is something amazing and gives me hope that our future can be brighter than it seems now. So this is Sylvie for the Life, reporting here with Elsie and Paul. I'm here with activists Millie Berman and Otto Moran, here to discuss Greta Thunberg's climate strike in New York City. How did you get involved with the climate, climate strike? I showed up to one of the Fridays for Future meetings uh, in August with some of my friends from the Climate Museum. I'd been interning there over the summer and we heard about the, the meeting that they were having to plan the march on September 20th. So we showed up, they you know, put us to work, it's very grassroots, no top-down leadership. So I was there you know, working on communications, uh, developing like messaging, writing the newsletter alongside you know people that had been doing climate activism for years um, and so it was really empowering and as soon as school started i sort of like turned efforts and tried to like organize as many people as i could at brooklyn friend and then millie i actually had sent an email to fridays for future over the week before school started just finding out information about the strike and being a school representative and then Otto made an announcement in quaker meeting it was like pull up to the meeting if you want to lead it so I went to the meeting. Just a question for both of you, why is this issue important to you? I feel that it affects you know, all walks of life. It's, it threatens you know, the future, but particularly those uh, who are most marginalized in society. And so I just think simply because it's the most significant problem that we face, and also because it does you know, hit home as someone who enjoys um, spending time outdoors and appreciates the environment, but just on a really like fundamental level, as someone who, who has you know, an interest in, in seeing you know, the human species survive. I feel that it's where uh, my work and everyone else's work is most needed. I don't like getting involved in politics and like political kind of issues as a rule. And I think that this is a really good issue. It doesn't really, but it should unite political parties and people from different sides of the political spectrum. What do you do in your personal life to combat climate change? besides organizing yeah, I've been weighing uh, bags of compost, recycling, uh, and corrugated paper outside of Pearl Street. So far, I have three days worth of data. I'm hoping to get perhaps a week's worth. And so right now I'm working like with the data to see if I can make some like estimates for like the carbon uh, footprint of that, of that trash, the cost, make some recommendations for how BFS can improve. Four o'clock every day, you have all the trash that's been produced over the day available to be weighed. What, what scale do you use? I use one that I bought uh, from a, a local uh, convenience store. Holy. It's a pulley scale, yeah. Oh. Lucian uh, had given me like a like one of those disc scales that goes up to about two pounds, and I, I told him that it wouldn't work. So he, he found that it didn't. He, right. So he pulled right. he pulled a pulley. One day. One day. He pulled out a pulley yeah. scale that uh, went up to, to four pounds, and so again, yeah, I had to look elsewhere. Lucian, yeah. I think we're gonna need a bigger scale. <laughs> In terms of my own personal choices, I read an article that said the two biggest things you can do in your, like, change in your own life is not taking flights, especially international flights, and eating locally sourced and vegan food. I do one and not the other. I eat vegan sometimes, most of the time, but because I had started doing that sort of stuff just to make me feel less guilty, but then I learned that that's not actually making as much of a difference as like activism and organization, so yeah. We're in the wake of the experience of the climate strike, right? Do you feel like you've made okay, how did that? How you did feel you like, feel that that went in general? That's a good yeah. question. Yeah. Do you feel successful? Yeah, I do feel successful. I think um, Millie would say the same thing and everyone who, who organized the strike, <laughs> like locally, getting kids across the Brooklyn Bridge. I mean, the fact that Brooklyn Tech showed up really like doubled the size almost yeah, of, that's crazy. Of, the, of the march. And yeah, my megaphone was nowhere near loud enough to reach everyone. How do you feel about some of the negative reactions to the climate strike or specifically the derogatory comments made about Greta by some in Washington? I know that there are certain members of Congress that have, you know, called her deranged um, oh God, or like what? referred, you know, the personal attacks on Greta. Uh -huh. 
which, which hurt me deeply. As I see like Greta as, a, as an image for youth activism, a young woman come all the way, you know, from Sweden. Uh, mission to, free. Yeah, mission free to our country to speak in front of the United Nations and that our even politicians are speaking uh, about her in, in such ways. It's, it's deplorable. So yeah, I was, I was upset. But again, like the more the more other nations can continue like to take the lead and put pressure on the United States, that once we, we get some better leadership, um, we can sort of make up for the ground we lost. I think it's a battle. It's a battle out there. Is it really hard convincing people about that stuff? Uh, well, what's most important as like a tool for convincing people is just having information behind you. So if I came and I said you should strike because I feel like you should strike. Like, I don't know if anyone here would even believe me, but if I said, you should strike because, and then I had some piece of information, you would believe me. So what, what's really great is that people like you guys already care about it. So in BFS especially, and in Brooklyn, it's more just giving people an opportunity to go somewhere. Oh, yeah. um, Otto and I have spoken to the third graders and the fourth graders about the issue and about climate activism and they're doing things in the lower school like getting rid of plastic water bottles and plastic forks and knives that are really inspiring so there's stuff like that thank you Autumn and millie for your work as climate activists and for sharing your experience with us clearly you're already doing this but just a friendly reminder to our audience remember to let your life <laughs>